Hello, my name is Mark Holmes. I'm the program chair for CyberSat. I'm delighted to have with me Chris Childers, the CEO of the National Defence Group. Chris was uh, one of our earlier pre presenters this morning. We were delighted to uh, have him on a panel. Um, Chris, there were some really interesting sort of discussions today looking at the cyber threats, the overall landscape, the threats, uh, everything from ransomware to denial of service. Um, someone, you know, from your perspective, you know, are there one or sort of two observations, one or two learnings that you can perhaps share with us and our audience about what you learned today at CyberSat? Uh, what I learned was that a lot of the companies, they're, they're, they seem to be looking for uh, solutions to their problems and they want uh, cybersecurity companies that, that can kind of keep their problems private is one of the things I've, uh, I've seen several of them approach me about and they're really looking for experts to help with uh, their unique problems. And, and I think this, this conference has done a great, a great job of pairing the two together. And one of the things that came up, I think, in a number of the panel sessions was multiple entry points into networks and, and different ways, very clever ways in which uh, addresses, hackers can and manipulate sort of information. What, what can sort of companies do to sort of, you know, or what more can they do that they're not doing now? What would be your sort of bits of advice for them? I definitely look at the types of traffic that are coming through and uh, you definitely want to have someone monitoring the traffic itself and, and looking and making sure not just is something coming through on this port and only this port, but what exactly does the traffic look like coming through and is it something that you're expecting or is it something that maybe somebody else is sneaking past uh, through where you expect only a certain type to be coming through. And what is, I mean, we're obviously called CyberSat, so we're looking at mm -hmm. cybersecurity and how it impacts the satellite sector. Um, do you feel that satellite companies are, are really sort of stepping up to the plate? Are they really aware of the multiple dangers that have been spoken about today? Or is there still a lot, I mean, obviously there's always going to be a lot of work that needs to be done, but how well do you think the satellite companies and operators are adapting to this new cyber world? I, I think some are, are uh, really far ahead, uh, like uh, Intelsat uh, seems to be doing very well. Um, others, it, they're they're working very hard to 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 move forward, and you know it's a it's a process. It's not a destination. So, um, it's sort of a cat and mouse that's just going to continue. Well, Chris, we were delighted to have you here today. It was great having you on that panel, and uh, thank you for being part of CyberSat.